robbery suspects have taken an ambulance. I got a cop shot. Gotta get him to the hospital. You're my brother. Have I ever gotten you anything that I couldn't get you out of? Lock everything down. We're just trying to get home. We don't get to walk off into the sunset! Hey everyone, my name is Tom. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. And well, I've just saw Ambulance. Now I'm just going to get straight to the point. I had a really, really fun time with this movie. I got the chance to see it in IMAX. The screen was massive. The scale was massive. It looked great. So I will say, if you can't see this movie, see it in IMAX. But it's exactly what I wanted it to be. It's Michael Bay going completely unhinged with creative freedom to deliver an absolutely insane, over-the-top, over-exaggerated, and albeit a little long at times, epic heist thriller. The ridiculous two-hour set of circumstances is led by a great trio. Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, who both play brothers Danny and Will, who find themselves in the seats of an ambulance as their only escape option after a bank heist goes wrong. With Isaac Gonzalez being kept as a hostage in the back of the vehicle, saving a shot and dying police officer's life. The actors honestly all do a terrific job in their roles while clearly having a lot of fun playing them. These guys are nut jobs. Right here it is! Sailing takes me away to where I always wanted me. Gyllenhaal's character Danny is someone who's trying not to hurt anybody, but we see him slowly lose that care over the course of the movie. Meanwhile, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II's character Will is someone who's more of a family man and he's been dragged into this mess. The movie has been directed the absolute heck out of by Michael Bay, who I think it's fair to say is a polarising director at the best of times. Some love him, some hate him, and some I think struggle to find their opinion on him. And Ambulance is no different. He brings his absolute A-game to the movie, adding in the Bayhem, adding in the Bayotic action sequences, and the ridiculous things that we'd expect from a Michael Bay movie. It's got the quick cuts, it's got the jump cuts randomly, it's got multiple angles circling around one scene where you don't need multiple angles circling around one scene. But, unlike some of his other films, in this I didn't ever feel like it pulled me out of it. It's top to the max with absolute Bayhem, and watching this you instantly will know you're watching a Michael Bay movie, and I'd argue, and I think it'd be fair for some to say, this is his most Bayotic film yet. Which some may love, some may hate, again, Michael Bay is quite a polarizing director. Now the one new element to the Bayotic substance that Bay brings to all of his movies is that somebody decided to give him a drone. And oh my god does he use this drone a lot. Sometimes it's a bit of a questionable move. It's like, oh, we're just in a talking scene. Why is there a drone circling these people? And then, oh, why is there a drone shot just randomly cut into this sequence where there doesn't need to be a drone shot? But sometimes it really works, especially during one scene which has stuck out in my mind since I saw the film. The drone swoops under a police car as that police car flies off a bunch of debris and then it quickly zooms back up into the air before more cars enter the shot. It's small, it's very quick and it happens quite fast but for some reason I saw that shot and I just got so much of a serotonin boost from it. I really loved it and it has stuck in my mind since. But that is all I've got to say in this review of Ambulance. It's fast paced, it's fun, it's insane and it's directed by Michael Bay. Some will love it. Some will hate it. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the movie down below in the comments. As always, my name is Tom, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Take it easy. Bye.